Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel, Witness Love. My name is Corey, and tonight I'm going to be showing you my candle empties for the month of November. And I went through 30 candles, which might seem a lot, but as for any of the products that I have in my collection regarding candles, I... I have like three going on in front of me and as you can see two over there and then one over there as well. So I usually have like six or seven burning in this small room and then there's candles going on throughout the house. So that's how I can like finish all these candles throughout each month. But let's just get into it and of course try to make this video uh, short and simple. As within of course just going through Bath and Body Works candles, some Aldi candles and this one single wick as for that has been in my collection but I don't know if it's from Big Lots or so but let's start out with one of my favorites as a single wick peppermint sugar cookie I love this scent one of my favorites as of last holiday season it's just that lovely peppermint and sugary cookies enjoy that one and then I enjoyed Bath & Body Works Hot Cocoa and Cream. And you have fragrance notes of decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk with mini marshmallows. And yes, love any chocolate scented candles. And then we have these two that I actually burned together and it made my scent well, made my room smell lovely. That's what I meant to say. First, you have Twisted Peppermint and Crushed Candy Cane. I love this hot pink wax for Crushed Candy Cane. You have the fragrance notes of Crushed Peppermint, White Sugar Crystals, Frosted Mint Leaf. And this scent is just amazing for the holiday season. And cannot beat the packaging for the single wick. And preferably, I prefer crushed candy cane over twisted peppermint here which this one smells good also I just find it has more of a heavier peppermint scent that might be like too much for like a headache or not but you have fragrances of cold peppermint sugared snow fresh balsam and vanilla buttercream with a hint of musk so there's that one and then this is the single wick. I don't know as of where this came from or like how long it's been in my collection. Couldn't tell you the brand, but it is Jasmine and Amber. And it's a nice sort of tobacco-y floral scent. It's nice as of burning it downstairs. So enjoyed that for wherever company that's from. And then on to my Bath and Body Work three wicks. Bath and Body Works three wick candles. Cannot talk. This one I was sort of disappointed as for Mary Cookie from this year. Of course, I got it because of the cute little gingerbread man and the iridescent packaging. As you can see, I have all this wax left and I think halfway it just was not burning right. I don't know if I trimmed the wicks too short or what, but you can notice this for some of the soot being like very prominent just in the candle while it's burning. So I just threw it in the candle crock to get the leftover fragrance out of it and it was an okay scent. I think I just have one more in my collection in front of me, but I have to learn as of to not purchase candles just because of the packaging and it smelled better as of on cold than it was burning. Same as for this Spice Apple Toddy. This will not be a repurchase. You have notes of warm apple brandy, spice plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick. I just remembered as for Mary Cookie. Forgot to tell you the notes of fresh Fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar, crystals, and rich vanilla. So that's the notes for that one. Back to Spice Apple Tawny. I got d this during probably um, when these candles came out. I don't know if it was towards the end of September or... No, it might have been October and that. I can't remember. But 
you have warm apple brandy, spice plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick, as I mentioned. And this had a, I wouldn't say an issue burning, there's like a little set, but this one was not powerful at all, even in my small room while burning, so I want to purchase that as of next fall season. This I got because it is a coffee scented candle, fa la la latte, or fa la 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 latte. <laughs> You have notes of a shot of espresso, sweet vanilla foam, topped with warm cookie crumbles. So this is a, as I mentioned in my, um, like, little collective haul video that I did last before my monthly empties. It's, yeah, a nice, you get that hint of espresso with cookies that are sort of overpowering the espresso. A thing like Paris Cafe, I stuck up and was able to get a whole crate of six of those during candle day. But yeah, this was a nice cookie scent as of even the last two that I showed you. This one was not at all within fragrance throw and power in my room, so sadly that won't be a repurchase. But that did sell out during candle day. Here is Love Con Candy Champagne from Last Christmas. Notes of Bubbly Rosé, Sweet Strawberry, and Pink Sugar. And this was okay, just a nice sugary berry scent, nothing special. Uh, same for this, Midnight Amber Glow. I do love, of course, the packaging with this, but I noticed with this candle specifically, I think it might have burned one last month. I can't remember. But it is a nice, like, it is my go-to fragrance in any of the body care. But besides this candle, just within last month, and this one here, like, the performance-wise is not there, I would say. The wax is probably filled up to here still, so less than halfway. And I had to throw it in the candle crock just to get a more should I say powerful or slightly better scent throw and as for linen and lavender I enjoyed this one in my room here it was a nice um, fragrance I don't know what happened to the wicks there as for why they look like that but the notes are crisp linen lavender sea salt fresh air breeze I do love any like lavender scented um, body care candles and I'm sort of starting or wanting to get into like the linen fresh more of those candles as within those specific fragrances so this was a nice and calming scent to burn of course in the evening nighttime in my room I'd say fragrance is for like a six so like a medium throw with fragrance here is one of my favorites as of this holiday season and of course with it having my favorite animal of a polar bear on it just adds right to of course the candle you have snowflakes and citrus with the cute little polar bears and I would assume that's a black bear my second favorite animal as well you have notes of Juicy, juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. And yes, this is a nice, cozy, mango, watery scent. Even though, in my opinion, in my room here, it sort of gave off the fragrance, I would say, for the first two days when I started burning. And once it, like, hit halfway, like, I couldn't really smell it at all, but... With it being, having the design of my favorite animal on it, can't really complain that much, even though I should not be doing that. Next is um, Give Comfort. And this is the Peach on Earth. And this is one of my favorites from this collection as of last Christmas. You have notes of fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, and frosted vanilla. And that's cinnamon with the peach is just like an amazing combo and I do wish I had more of these 
this scent specifically in my collection. Sadly, this was the last one, but this is definitely an amazing thrower with fragrance as of when I was burning it in the hallway between my kitchen and living room downstairs. Next, I have black teak wood, and as you can see, I am burning the last one that I have as of right now on my pink Santa gnome candle holder. You have notes of rich mahogany, black teak wood, and dark oak, and frosted lavender. All of these notes are just amazing together, I would say. To my nose, this smells very similar to mahogany teak wood. Any of those teak wood scents, like, I believe, ocean driftwood, some of the men's fragrances, colognes, and that do smell close to mahogany teak wood, so I enjoyed burning this one. Let me scoot back real quick. I, with the single wick of peppermint sugar cookie, I did burn the three wick as of in this year's packaging, which is really cute. I did enjoy this collection with the design and the little string lights with stars on them. And yes, just like a single wick. This is one of my favorites to burn each holiday season. And just love anything with peppermint gourmand. Like, just give me all those fragrances in one candle and I'll be very happy. Next, with another gourmand candle, we have Wild Berry Jam Donut. Love this purple packaging. And I had to throw this in the candle warmer. It was fine as for, I don't you think the wax, like, here still. I have notes of sweet wild berry jam, powdered donut, and brown sugar, brown sugar crumble. Not crumbles, but it was a nice scent. You could sort of smell that scent, though, as of when it was having a struggle of burning in my living room. That's why I had to throw that one in the candle crock along with just candles as for when I am burning them and they're either having trouble as for like having some soot or I'm just not getting the fragrance throw that I'm wanting to my liking in the wicks or sort of drowning in the wax. I'm like I've had enough just Throw it in the candle clock and see what magic that does for getting the leftover fragrance out of the candles. Next, one of my favorites as for like balsam candles is mahogany balsam. Notes of juniper berry, fresh balsam, and mahogany wood. That mahogany with the uh, fresh balsam and juniper berries is amazing. So, definitely love this as a masculine candle. This candle right here, I was <laughs> hoping that my store would have these as of in stock, but I knew, of course, since working there as of three weeks ago and continuing to work there, I was working on the last day of candle day, and this scent right here, peppermint, hot chocolate, like this, is my favorite holiday scent as of what it is for this holiday season and will be throughout the years until something that is better in fragrance compares to this but this hands down is my favorite number one candle right now from Bath and Body Works peppermint hot chocolate light I cannot I was able to get the last six as of three weeks prior to candle day so I bought the last ones at my store and of course with my mom helping me within um, my store that I work at that's like 10 minutes away from me for where I live the other closest store is like 45 to an hour away so I'm like oh, I don't have time to go up there and try to get like what peppermint hot chocolate candles they have so um, I have seven right now in my collection, so that should be enough until next year when hopefully more come out. But I do love this frosted mint green packaging. 
excuse me, of notes of sweet peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. Like, I, that peppermint, along with the chocolate, is just an amazing combo. <laughs> Can't say anymore. I just recommend you on trying that candle if you can get your hands on it. So, going back to fall, we have America's Favorite Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. Notes of warm sugar, warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, and fresh nutmeg sprinkled with sugar. And you can see it as for like where the wax is still. And yeah, I had to throw this in the candle crock, even though it was good at performing towards the third and fourth burn. And just had to throw it in the candle crock, but I do love the scent of the cinnamon like sugar cookies. Uh, next is a candle from last Christmas. In this collection, black tie, notes of green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. I'm actually burning, I think, my last one of these right now downstairs in my living room. And I was almost able to finish as four towards the very bottom of this candle, but I did have to throw it in the candle crock because it was having issues with burning as well. And as you can see... Um, the wicks definitely moved, so that sort of looks weird, but I do enjoy this scent. And then we have, from the same collection, Mary Mimosa from last year. You have notes of sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and ice sugar crystals. And it is a nice, fresh, like, apple you do get the hint of like champagne something bubbly in the scent which it is nice when burning i did not pick one of these up in the new like celestial collection as of um during candle day and that was for when i was working there on the second day um that one had already sold out so just really wasn't interested in it one of my favorites, which I was hoping that this would reappear as during candle day. This is hot fudge drizzle from Summer Sass during the summer. And you have rich melted chocolate, vanilla bean, dash of brown sugar. Like anything with chocolate. Like any candles with chocolate, peppermint, cookie, gourmand. Like especially chocolate. This one just hits the ballpark for me and it's just amazing. It smells like a hot fudge sundae specifically with the Hershey's milk chocolate syrup and this one did perform well when burning so no complaints for this. And then for my last Bath and Body Works candle here we have Crush Candy Cane from this season and yeah just like mary cookie it was fine with performance towards like the third and fourth burn and then once it got down to like halfway the wicks were like drowning and some soot and that stuff was getting into it so i'm like let me just throw it in the candle crock and the crock can deal with it within of course gain the leftover fragrance Excuse me. And then, as you can see, the wicks moved. You have notes of crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. So, I did enjoy this, along with burning it with the twisted peppermint and crushed candy cane single wick. whole room smelled like a peppermint candy. So, enjoyed that. On to my last candles. They are from Aldi's. We have one of their... Um, 25 Days Until Christmas White Balsam and Cedar Candle. I do like the packaging of this. It's very sleek and simple. And there used to be two wicks in here. But as for when I noticed when I was trying to light this one, somehow, some way the wax covered the other one. So, 
as you can see, it was almost down to the bottom. But it's fine by me as for having that happen because I would say probably the second burn of this and afterwards until I burned it down to here. Could not really smell it that much unless I was standing over it, but nice balsam scent. Along with this, you have winter balsam. And the rest of these are the soy blend candles. I do like the lids. I'm sort of over getting, of course, candles from all these and just trying to <laughs> hold off on, of course, purchasing candles at Bath and Body Works since I sort of went overload during candle day of all together from the first and second day with a total of, I think, 44 candles, as you can see in my shorts section on my channel but back to this candle it's an okay balsam scent but I won't repurchase this again because it sort of smells like pine saw and I don't know it's just not that fresh balsam as for like fresh balsam and different candles from Bath and Body Works Next we have Amber Sunrise. This is a good one. I think I had this last month in my October empties. Not really any complaints with this, even though it is a light fragrance thrower. Um, from that, I would say holiday seasonal candles from all these also. You have Frosted Vanilla. And then it sort of just got sick of this scent. Um, it was nice halfway and I don't know. Personally, I did want to dump all the wax out, which I did and my bathroom just like in a garbage bag because it was having issues towards the end. And you can still smell like the fragrance, but for some odd reason, it just does not smell like frosted vanilla or like a vanilla I really care for there's something I don't know not tobacco or something like smoky that's not combining with the vanilla in that one then we have first snow I did do the same for dumping the wax in one of the wicks of course fell out when in the meantime I was doing that it was an okay vanilla scent, but I just didn't care for it like the frosted vanilla. Um, out of the four, as for like the three from that winter seasonal candle collection, this fourth one, Holiday Cranberry, even though it was a light fragrance star, this was the one that I could smell the most and perform the best as of burning. And they do like that um, light hint of cranberry scent. And then to sort of end this, is for this being the 30th candle that I went to, well, went through, don't know as for like what in order throughout the month, of course, I finished this, but this is Mainstay's Cashmere Mahogany Wood Amber and Vanilla sort of ending that on a sad note for this month but yeah I didn't really bother to finish this because I don't know why I even got this to begin with I think it was close to ten dollars and I should have known from previously burning mainstay candles it just depends though and like your room and that if you can actually smell them for the price that you're paying for them so it's like three or four dollars this one of course is being almost 20 ounces, $10, but I cannot smell this while it was burning, so can't wait to throw this one in the recycling, along with these other ones, but I did enjoy it for like the light that I brought while burning, just the fragrance was not there, and of course I cannot smell it unless I was putting my nose right on top of it. So I hope you stick around as for watching this whole video of me showing you all my candle empties for the month of November. Stay tuned for some upcoming Bath & Body Works haul videos as for like what I purchased in Black Friday. I know it is late and so, but I'll be coming up with some 
video ideas. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and have a good night.